Hello, my beautiful collective. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. I am back with uh, overall general read for the month of November for the sign Leo. Whether it's your ascending sign, sun sign, rising sign, moon sign. This is just a general overall reading for the month of November 2022. Thank you for being here, my beautiful collective. I so appreciate your time. We are on our way to 300 and we will get there. My beautiful collective, I hope everybody woke up feeling beautiful, blessed, happy, and healthy. And you have let nobody agitate you nor steal your joy for the day. I'm going to get this reading started to all my beautiful gods and goddesses, kings and queens. I already pulled. I've cleared our space of all negative energy. Let's go ahead and do it again, just in case, my beautiful, my beautiful collective. Let's get this on the go. It's raining out here in the Bay Area today. We need the rain. It's not going to be nearly enough, but it's a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and clear this. Yes, let's get this energy clear. Happy All Saints Day. Dead of dead. Yes, we are using our Santa Muerta deck. Got that space all clear, my beautiful collective of any and all negative energy. We're not playing with it today. All right, my beautiful collective, I already shuffled, pulled, and what came out, my beautiful Leos? The first card out, Seven of Pentacles. You reap what you sow. So my beautiful collective, this is beautiful because if you've been putting out good karma, good energy into the atmosphere, expect positive things to come towards you this month, my beautiful collective, especially when it comes to whatever you put your work and effort into, it's gonna, you're going to see a payoff, my beautiful collective. The next card out was a major arcana, the chariot card. You guys are definitely headed towards your success, towards your joy, and it's going to take off really fast. And what you're going towards is the queen of pentacles, my beautiful collective. You are definitely on your way up. You are working your way up the ladder in order to be stable and secure. If this is regarding a career, you're going to get that promotion. If it's regarding an investment, you're going to see that payoff, my beautiful collective, because the next card that came out was the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Wish fulfillment. Everything is fine, my beautiful collective. You're healthy. You're in a safe space. You're in a secure space. This month, you're going to see abundance pay off in one way or another, my beautiful collective. So we have a lot of pinnacles down here. We have three pinnacles down here. And the major arcana, my beautiful collective, is the chariot card. So you are definitely going towards your success, my beautiful collective, with this chariot card. You can't make it up. And this month is full of pinnacles. 
you're, you're on a go. You're on an up and up. You're climbing a ladder, my beautiful collective. Whatever you have invested in is going to pay off. You're on your way up. Why? Because the nine of pentacles. Everything is paying off. Whatever you have invested with the seven of pentacles, you reap what you sow. This is the payoff. The nine of pentacles. Which fulfillment? My beautiful collective. So you're putting everything in place. And you're climbing that ladder to success. My beautiful collective. This was wonderful. For my dear Leos. You guys are no longer in this eight of swords space. You guys are coming out of this deep, dark emotions that some of you guys may have been carrying. Don't even worry about it, my beautiful collective. That's over with. The bottom of the deck, you can't even make this up, is the Six of Swords. You're being divinely guided away to your success, your wish fulfillment. So come up out of that dark space, my beautiful Leos. It's okay. You're being divinely guided away by the Most High. Absolutely. We have the Hermit card. Some of you guys have went within, got rid of things, ended things, ghosted people. You took time away from the outside world in order to see the light. My beautiful collective, a lot of you took time out for yourself. And now you're open for more communication. Things are gonna start happening for you fast, my beautiful collective, because you own that chariot of success. You can't even make this up. You got the Santa Morta Santa Morta card, which is the death card. You guys are ending things that are no longer good for you, no longer healthy for you. In order to start a new beginning, you guys are closing out cycles. Absolutely, I can't even make this up. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. My beautiful collective, you guys are transforming. You guys are opening up. You guys are climbing the ladder to your success. My beautiful collective. And you're ending all things that are no longer good for you. Any negative, anything negative, anything low vibrational, you're putting it to an end. Because you are on your chariot to success. You are on a ride to success. You're climbing the ladder, my beautiful Leos. And with the Ten of Cups, you guys are going to have it all. Can't even make this up. And I'm going to get to the overall reading for the month of November. My beautiful collective angels, ancestors, flying Holy Spirit. This might be it. We might just be ending things and starting a new beginning, my beautiful collective, by getting rid of things that no longer serve us, okay? Absolutely. You guys are standing your ground. You're not dealing with no extra bullshit. <laughs> I think I was saying that the end of... Um, the end of... <laughs> The month of October, my beautiful collective. Any more messages for me and my beautiful Leo? Phoenix, North Node. Thank you. We have the King of Swords. <laughs> the truth, my beautiful collective. The truth, okay? They not playing because we have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, my beautiful collective. You are working hard. You are putting a lot of effort into you, your creativity, 
creating different streams of income. This month, my beautiful Leos, is yours. You're going to be very, very abundant, prosperous. You're on the up and up because you about the truth this month and you on your way to success, my beautiful collective, because you putting an end to things that no longer serve you. No more dark nights when you stuck in your head thinking about what's going to happen. You put an end to all of that. When you took time out for yourself and you left what no longer served you behind with the hermit card. You're invested in yourself. Whatever you put out in the universe is what you're getting ready to get back. And that's why you're on your way up the ladder, my beautiful Leos, to success. Do not forget the chariot card, okay? You are on your way to success. Why? Because you put an end to shit that no longer served you. And the most high say that's the truth. You are using your head. You're not worried about love right now. You're loving on yourself. Right now, you are being very wise, very intelligent with your choices. And the Most High say, this is the truth, my beautiful collective. And let's not forget the Eight of Pentacles. You are putting a lot of work and effort into you, yourself, being happy, being secure and stable, my beautiful collective. For all my Leos, for the overall month of November, the sun this month, central focus is consciousness, my beautiful collective. Absolutely, you guys are focused on you all month with the sun spotlighting your house of family and home these areas are your instinctive focus during this period my beautiful leos your family home property concerns roots and heritage come into focus and become a source of pride you are likely quite preoccupied with feelings of security in your inner experiences. This is a time when you send down roots and seek a feeling of belonging. You could be thrust into a position of leadership on the home front. What did we say with that queen of uh, pinnacles climbing a ladder? Ego confrontations with family members are possible now. But the best way to handle this energy is to do your best to strengthen your relationships with your family and your home base. This is a time to do what you can to build trust in your family, my dear Leos. Life and a strong foundation within yourself so that regardless of what you meet in the outside world over the next months, you have a secure place to return to, which is home, my beautiful collective. Besides spending more time tending to domestic affairs, the focus can be on cultivating and nourishing the inner foundations that support you and your growth. This is a time to collect yourself to feel your well, so to speak. Eclipses. A total lunar eclipse occurs on November 8th, my beautiful Leos. A general rule of thumb regarding eclipses is to avoid major decision making in the week before and after an eclipse. This is because new information that could change our perspective often is revealed in the week after the eclipse. There is absolutely no need to suspend projects already in progress. Essentially, it's better to take in right now to observe and get in touch with feelings, my beautiful Leos. This lunar eclipse stimulates your solar 10th house. Surprises surrounding career and reputation may matter be in store. 
something that has been in hiding or brewing under the surface of things comes to light, or there is a significant fruition or excuse me, culmination. This could manifest, for example, as a career change or challenge that didn't you didn't expect, a surprise revelation from a co-worker or boss, a new promotion or career direction dropped into your lap and other such possibilities. My beautiful Leos, we can't even make that up. What did I say? You on your way, you climbing the ladder. Whether it's in your career, your personal life, or whatever, you on your way up to your wish fulfillment, security, maybe a little more responsibility. But you are safe, my beautiful collective. You can handle anything with your strength and courage. My beautiful Leo. Venus this month, love, romance, social life, and comfort. Until November 23rd, my beautiful Leo, Venus warms your solar fourth house now. During this cycle, you are especially fond of the life of the home and family. You are more receptive and gentle on romantic levels and tend to be sentimental or nostalgic. You may particularly value the aesthetics in and around your home during this period. If things are out of whack on the home front, you will do whatever you can to create a peaceful and stable atmosphere. Absolutely, you're bringing balance into your life. In relationships, loyalty and sensitivity are more important to you than typically. You might focus on ways to earn money in or from your home. This is a calming influence, a time with simple pleasures most appeal. From November 24th forward, Venus warms your solar fifth house. This is an expensive period for the goddess of love. It's natural for you to turn on the charm without even lifting a finger. You are especially attracted to aesthetic forms of recreation. You feel a little more playful now. And love matters tend to be laced with a touch of drama. Uh, excuse me, with a touch of drama. That recreation that shouldn't be a problem with the recreation. In fact, you kind of like it that way for being the time or for the time being, my beautiful Leos. More loving and appreciative relationships with your children may also figure now. Your powers of attraction skyrocket during this cycle, yet you are not aggressive in your approach to love. Instead, you attract more if you allow yourself to be pursued during this cycle. Creative self-expression of any kind is favored at this time. At this time, you instinctively know how to place yourself in the best light in order to make a good impression on others, my dear Leo. Any love affairs begun now will be characterized by good cheer, having fun, and a fair share of emotional drama, my beautiful Leos. Mercury this month, communications, learning, connections, and transportation. Until November 4th, Mercury continues to move through your solar third house. Mercury feels right at home in the third house. Your mind is especially inquisitive during this cycle. When learning, short trips, and other forms of communication and making connections appeal strongly. Some are fidgety or nervous during this cycle, perhaps due to increased errand running, phone calls, or information overload. Others enjoy the challenge of tackling a variety of subjects. My beautiful Leos, you can handle anything. As well, talking, writing, and studying can be good ways to handle stress. 
It's a great time to pick up information from your environment and the people in it. Your mind is often distracted, particularly when required to stick to routine. We do tend to get bored easily, my beautiful Leos, so we have to focus. <laughs> so this is not the best transit for focusing on one task or project. <laughs> you might spend a lot of time in your car making short, frequent trips, running errands, communicating with siblings and neighbors, and visiting friends and relatives, which is always wonderful. From November 4th to, through the 23rd forward, Mercury moves through your solar fourth house. This is a time during which you can enjoy increased powers of concentration. You may require solitude in order to get mental work done during this cycle, my dear Leos. Your memory is more retentive than usual, and your thoughts often turn to personal matters family and loved ones. You might, you might particularly enjoy discussions about your early life, the past, or family matters during this cycle. In fact, it's a great time to open up conversations with loved ones as you are more rational when it comes to personal matters now. Your mind often wanders to domestic concerns and issues surrounding your home, family, and personal past. On the other hand, this transit sometimes indicates an especially busy and perhaps hectic period on the domestic scene. For example, you might take homework or find that people drop by your home often during this cycle, my dear Leos from November 24th forward. Mercury transits your solar fifth house. During this cycle, there is a powerful mental connection with your creative self-expression. You are proud of your ideas and very good at expressing them to others smoothly now. Absolutely, what did we say with the King of Swords? We are using our wits, our intelligence. Baby, we own it this month. We are using our mind. Okay, my beautiful Leos. We are in the energy of truth, of intelligence. Why? Because we riding that chariot to success and we climbing the ladder to our success and happiness. We're not playing. Because we in the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, wish fulfillment, having it all and having it our way, my beautiful Leos. Mercury transits your solar fifth house during this cycle. There is powerful mental connection with your creative self-expression. You are proud of your ideas and very good at expressing them to others smoothly now. Your thinking is more creative than usual. You tend to ent entertain others with your conversations and your sense of humor and of mischief is especially strong. Okay. Your thoughts turn to children, pleasures, or romance during this expressive cycle. You might enjoy researching speculative ventures now. You especially enjoy games that involve competing with others on a mental level. Absolutely. You have a stronger need than usual for intellectual stimulation. Absolutely. Why? Because we own that uh, ride to success and we are embodying the King of Swords energy, my beautiful collective. Oh, yes, we are. We are using our head. We are using our mind. We are being very intelligent. Our beautiful collective. Oh, yes, indeed. We're not playing. we all about the truth, okay? Therefore, your friends and romantic partners are best appreciated now if they are intellectual types. You're more willing to take risks on a mental level now, 
So take advantage of the increased sponta spontaneous spontane the increased spontaneity and creativity that comes with this position, my dear Leos. <laughs> Excuse me, my dear Leos, but we're gonna get through this. Mars this month. Energy drive courage. Absolutely. Mars is retrograde from October 30th, 2022 until January 12th, 2023, my beautiful Leos. All Mars retrograde cycles affect you in the areas of faith, wisdom, perspective, personal philosophies, higher education, travel, and adventure in general in general, because Mars rules your solar ninth house. You could find that you are less confident about expressing yourself in adventurous ways. Your outlook on life in terms of the bigger picture could be a little more cautious, and you might find that you are temporarily have less faith. But we are dealing with our strength and the truth, my beautiful Leos. Remember that. Our strength and our truth will help us express what we need to express to who we need to express it to, my beautiful Leo. Occurring in your solar 11th house during this period, enthusiasm for generating business income. You can't even make that up with that freaking queen of pinnacles. For working towards your higher goals and hopes for group or community activities and or friendships may wane perhaps due to some problems or setbacks in these areas of your life. We on the come up, my beautiful Leos. Some of you could be dealing with frustrations and buried angers, issues with friends. Ambiguity in these areas of your life may lead you to reassess your friendships, group, group endeavors, and associations or higher goals. There may be frustration with goals or dreams not manifesting soon enough when in fact this retrograde period is strong for making important edits to your plans. Refocus, backtracking, and review become necessary and recommended now. My beautiful Leos, you can't make this up. What did we say? Some of us are going into hermit mode, okay? We ghosting people. We going within ourselves to see the light, to see what needs to be seen. We coming out of this darkness, this eight of swords energy of being stuck in our head about shit that don't mean nothing to us. And this is when this card comes into play. We are deading things. This is the death card, Santa Mi Orta. Would no longer serve us. We are putting an end to it in order to renew ourselves, okay? A rebirth, our success, my beautiful Leos, because we're not playing with the knight, with the knight, uh, king of swords, excuse me, with the king of swords, we're not playing with these people, okay? We all about intellectual, and let's not forget the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We are focused and working on climbing this ladder to success, my beautiful collective. So, of course, we are putting an end to the bullshit. Oh, absolutely. The overview, my beautiful Leos. For November 2022, monthly horoscope overview for Leos. There is a powerful focus on home, family, personal matters in November, dear Leo. You feel good putting your time and energy into things and places you love this month. There can be much energy centering around the home or with family and surrounding yourself with familiar people and situations 
comes naturally this month. You require some anchoring and centering. You're drawn to projects and activities that have longevity or special meanings. Emotionally, renovations are, satisf are satisfying. Let me repeat that, my dear Leos. Emotional renovations are satisfying, particularly in the first half of this month. There can be good opportunities to expand, strengthen, and enhance relationships with loved ones or roommates. And on some level, you may find peace with your past. Absolutely. You're beginning to see improvements or forward motion. Absolutely. With our chariot card. With your intimate life or finances this month. You're more confident about dealing with tricky emotions or complicated problems because we're using our head over our heart this month, my beautiful Leo. This can be a good time to leave a bad habit behind. Absolutely, a loan or support could come through. On the other hand, Mars is retrograde in your social sector, steering up friendships, group associations, and long-term goals. You can be dealing with frustrations and buried anger in these areas or ambiguity that leads to reassessing things. Arguments have more to do with misunderstandings than true disagreements. It's possible you reconnect with old friendships, groups, dreams, and plans, especially in the last days of November. Unrest with friends and lovers can rise to the surface but you will be in a better position to understand what and who you want once the impatience of the moment passes. Ideally, you're making memories with loved ones and getting more and more much needed downtime. Financial support for home improvement endeavors could be in the offering. Bringing more harmony and calm to your home life is satisfying. Instinctively, you know that virtually every other area of your life is bound to benefit if you are at peace on the home front and within yourself, my beautiful Leos. We can't even make this up. The lunar eclipse on the 8th is a time for getting in touch with areas of unrest. If you've been on a different page with a loved one about your goals or a lack of direction weighs you down, this can be a time to face the issue. A career matter or responsibility can loom, or it's a time to gain recognition for your hard work. The drive to improve your home life can motivate you to work harder or pursue a promotion or better position. Your obligation to the outside world calls you. The sun moves into a creative, romantic, and playful sector of your chart on the 22nd, where it awakens your feelings and desires. Venus and Mercury pave the way. In fact, having entered this same sector on the 16th and 17th, it's, a great, it's great news for attraction and enjoyment. You begin to crave more interaction and feedback. The insular theme that was so strong at the top of the month starts to fade out mid-month and opportunities to enjoy and express yourself emerge. Romance is highly favored and your mood is playful. Others more readily appreciate your unique romantic creative style. From the 23rd, a close relationship may resume, rekindle, or heat up. Or if you've been procrastinating or settling on your finances, you're now ready to take them on. The give and take in a relationship improves, or there is more clarity about your feelings and a partner's involvement. Opportunities to go out or branch out can be part of the picture. You are coming to a very strong period for romantic and creative pursuits, my dear Leos. A period when you may revive or begin rewarding hobbies, enjoying healthier relationships with your children, 
and possibly fall in love or fall back in love. People are drawn to you naturally and you are turning heads more than usual. My beautiful Leos, you guys are in for a beautiful month, okay? We are in control. We are using our head over our heart, but we are open to love, okay? We're being very intelligent about some things because we are riding the wave of success with the chariot car because we are putting things that no longer serve us to an end in order to start anew and go after our success. We are climbing this ladder with the Queen of Pentacles. We are getting to our money, to our joy, to our security. With the Nine of Pentacles, we are secure. We are stable. We are happy and healthy, my dear Leos. God bless you. I'm wishing everybody a beautiful, blessed month, my dear Leos. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. God bless you and thank you for your support and stay to the end, my beautiful collective. God bless you. Until next time, stay beautifully blessed. My beautiful Leos, real quick, the affirmation for the day. Let me hurry up and get this going before we get up out of here, my beautiful collective. Okay, my dear Leos, we are going to pull from the absolute affirmation deck. Okay, I am dope, my beautiful collective, my dear Leos. Oh, yes, you are. You are dope. Okay, remember that. At the bottom of the deck, I am focused on the present. And yes, we are. The affirmation. You are a unique individual, my dear Leos, and your originality makes you extremely dope. You have a purpose and a path that is vital and tailored specifically for you. Remember to recognize yourself as special and wear this confidence proudly. My beautiful Leos, you are dope and you are unique. Mwah! Until next time, my beautiful Leos, have a beautiful month. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. Remember, thumbs up this video. Until next time, stay beautifully blessed, happy, and healthy.